guys um i feel like this is very much not the usual kind of introduction to a main kind of channel video that almost feels weird to say well not main channel i post all my videos on one channel i only have one channel but um usually kind of like my main video basically videos that aren't vlogs i obviously got my makeup done you're on a tripod but this is very much vloggy style just because i wanted to film this room tour and actually i thought i wasn't going to be able to film it because it's been super super cloudy the whole morning it's still quite a cloudy day but because it's just gone midday like i guess it's this is the best light i'm gonna get so basically i didn't really set up for a normal kind of main video like I usually do but realistically the camera's not going to be on my face for very much longer so yeah let's get into it before I run out of light welcome to my third year room tour this is going to be my final uni room tour which is crazy third final and actually my favorite room it's not even the biggest like um definitely my room last year was bigger but this one is just much nicer a lot cozier it's just yeah i absolutely love it so yeah let's let's get started with the third year uni room tour i hope you enjoy it um if you do enjoy the room tour don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and click the bell to stay notified when i post the video let's get into it before i start i feel like i should give you a little kind of overview of the room So obviously starting, um, like I said, with the back of the door, I just have this kind of clothes hanging rail over the door hook thing from Amazon. And on there, I just hang the kind of things that I'm always grabbing, kind of everyday things on the back of the door. I'm gonna go this way, but I thought I should just show you these to get them out of the way. So I've just got my bin. I've had this bin from the very beginning. Most things, if you've been watching my videos for quite a while and you've watched my room, uni room tour videos before, most things I have obviously just kind of moved it from year to year. Bin from from Wilco, I still remember where I got everything from. There I've just got a little dustpan and brush from Ikea and this wash basket I think is from, was from Primark. And then we kind of come around to my bed area. I actually bought this bedside table myself just because I needed a bedside table and it didn't, one didn't come with the room. As you can see that bed like just about fits in there, it's not a very big space. Um, so the cheapest, smallest bedside table I can find, it's obviously not the most attractive but I'm only gonna be in here for a year. I probably won't don't take it with me so I don't want to like shell out loads of money for a really nice bedside table so it's just from Ikea on top of my bedside table I just keep a box of tissues some hand cream um hand food by soap and glory and um a nail envy nail hardener just because I don't actually do it as often as I should but I try and keep it next to my bed so I can just obviously apply that and this is actually like a coaster type thing I'm um, just if I'm like eating in bed <laughs> just so I don't stay in anything I just put that there um to like put my food on underneath um, I've got this massive bunch of fairy lights. If you remember from my second year uni room tour, I had a fairy light wall and that was the original plan. So I did want to get, like have a fairy light wall here. And actually initially I was gonna get the landlord to take down that shelf simply because I actually don't have, you know, like a bedside lamp or anything like that. So obviously it would look pretty as part of it, but also cause I thought, well, that would be a nice way of having a light on if I don't want like the main light on, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So right now what I do is in the night when I've like turned on the, turned off the main light I just kind of turn that on and it acts as a kind of bedside kind of table lamp I decided I quite like the shelf so I was still going to do it and kind of go around the shelf and like loop it that way and have like polaroids because I've literally like I feel like I've barely got any pictures I've got some there and then some on my notice board so I kind of selected the my favorite pictures and was actually going to kind of clip them on there but obviously now I haven't done that yet so those are like my favorite pictures that I would quite like displayed in my room but I'm not sure about that yet I don't know I feel like I won't get it done anytime soon and that's actually part of the reason why I put off this room tool for ages because I wanted to get that done but I was like you know what it's not been done yet it's only one kind of thing in the room realistically if I do it like you'll probably see it in like future vlogs so I can still show the room other than that basically everything's done like I said I actually really grew to like the shelf I hated it initially and then when I actually like put things on it and like decorated I was like that looks pretty good so um I've just got this fake hanging plant from Ikea I've got loads of these in my room as you'll see so um really really nice and I've actually just got it in this those like glass canister things and then I've got a reed diffuser from Aldi and this candle holder thing from Wilco so yeah my bed the bedding is oh my god it was it was the same bedding that was on in my second year room tour because I remember like being really amazed that this matches it perfectly it's literally the exact same pattern so yeah I got this from Amazon and I'd never really bought Amazon bedding before to be honest I like, usually like my mom gets our bedding from like next or something but um it's 
it's actually really good quality it's also like reversible this is the other side and i think it was something like 10 pounds which is crazy the cushions the two gray ones um are from primark again i've had that with me from the very beginning and this one i think i bought last year from aldi this kind of throw thing i use pretty much basically just for decoration is from ikea let's go around here so this is my chest of drawers and on top of it i just kind of keep things that i use kind of every day this thing um i actually bought like when i moved in here like a few weeks after maybe so this is quite new and i absolutely love it it's this kind of marble well it can't be real marble surely but it's really heavy actually like it's definitely you know like a rock of some sort i don't know but yeah this kind of marble effect um jewelry holder so it's just got a lid and it's got three kind of divisions and it actually she has this mirror on the inside so that's really pretty this yankee candle which looks like absolute shit <laughs> right now i kept like burning it without cutting the wick and that's why it's gone all black on the sides and then clearly i like must have moved it whilst it was still like you know liquidy anyway and then this um soap and glory righteous butter my Aveeno kind of like daily moisturizing lotion deodorant i've got this trinket dish which i just keep kind of like hoop earrings here i keep like hair bands this is actually like a soap dish and i got in like a set but i don't really use like bar soap so i just use it for like hairbands and i've just got some um like my perfumes there yeah so into the chest of drawers boring i just keep my underwear in there and then this is like socks tights belts sanitary products <laughs> in here i have all my tops all my bottoms and like i also have like dresses and like jumpsuits in here this one is like pajamas and kind of like loungewear oh and also my gym wear and then in the bottom i keep um, my bed sheets and like like towels and that kind of thing right so moving around to this section this is something a bit that i didn't know what to do with i obviously need to like make it presentable like pretty because you're going to be able to see it so what i kind of decided on was using it as like storage for like my bags so here i have well i've got a bum bag and then kind of like shoulder bags and then i keep um, my mini backpack and again you all remember this from last year it's just my jewelry holder like necklaces and like anklets and that kind of thing and that's kind of on display to make it look a little prettier and then in there is where I shove like all my camera equipment so I've got my soft boxes kind of deconstructed my tripod on top I keep the bulbs for the studio lights this mini electric heater and um, I've just got a yoga mat there and then we come to this bit which is actually genuinely one of my favorite bits because I've never had a fireplace I absolutely love fireplaces like I would love to have fireplaces in like my house house you know when I'm older and can afford a house but I feel like they're just so cozy I think that this adds like the cozy feel of this room i just love it and i love having like this mantel piece to decorate if you watch my vlogs you will be very aware of this mirror because i'm constantly like vlogging in it please excuse this thing it's just a study day okay let's get to this bit the pretty bit before i like properly moved in i had the vision i was like yep two hanging plants either side just at the end of the mantelpiece to kind of frame it and if you actually saw one of my like kind of was that my prepping for uni vlog i bought these like before i even got here from ikea i love the symmetry as well um because i've got these two candles from primark as well on either side this is another one of the Al rediffuses it was actually just that in the middle then I randomly found this card which was um, my birthday card from Luke's parents last year I think it was like in a notebook or something so I found it I was like well I might as well display it there because it's like colorful and pretty so yeah one of my like absolute favorite parts of my room I just feel like it looks so cozy so homely and like aesthetic as well you know <laughs> and then the world's most useless mirror I mean it's quite nice for seeing bottom half and like checking out your shoes but obviously it's not really a full-length mirror because this quite small so it needs to actually be up on the wall for it to be full length to be honest i didn't even buy this this i just found in the room obviously the previous owner or whatever had left it and um, it was actually in there so i just kind of moved it here just put those um fairy lights from primark around it just to like jazz it up a bit definitely a bit more decorative um than practical but sometimes i do use it because that mirror is kind of like an upper body one and then this one's like the lower body so i have to use both mirrors to see my whole outfit and then across here is my bookcase sorry it's getting a bit dark oh that's better this is my bookcase so on top of my bookcase I just have again these have been with me since first year these two kind of like paper clip photo holders and um, that I got from Primark and I've just got two photos two prints um, of me and Luke on holiday and you this camera and my main like bigger Canon camera usually is just stays here and then my full camera stays there if I'm not using it and then I've got obviously loads of books and then I've got this M um, you know lights thing again that's been with me from the very first 
the very first year. I literally remember, I think I made like a really dumb joke, like I've got an M because my name's Moesha, which begins with an M in like my first year <laughs> room tour. So I've had that for ages. Down here, I just um, keep, that's um, a little basket thing, again, from Primark. Um, again, I've had that since first year. And I just keep kind of like laundry stuff, like cleaning products in there. And then I've got this basket. <laughs> Um, from Primark again, um, it's kind of this rose gold kind of metallic copper basket and I just keep like medicines in there. Medicines, vitamins, that kind of thing and then I've just got my bottle of rum there because your girl likes rum. Mostly for mojitos, but you know. And then my windows, not the sexiest view, just the other side of the street but we're not complaining. Radiator on the there. Coming around to my desk area, just next to the window here I've got this notice board which I don't keep any work on. It's literally just Polaroid prints of just me and Luke, um, my dog Radley, me and my sister, me and my mum, that kind of thing. Just nice photos. This is my desk. Right on the top shelf, well nothing's right on the on the top top shelf but this one is usually actually empty but I've got loads of books out of the library so I've just, I've just put them there. And then here I keep obviously folders and then I've got this kind of magazine holder which I keep notebooks and like just things like that in. This magazine holder thing is from Wilco I think. I sit at my desk to do my makeup and I've just got this palette or oh, it's probably a letter holder from Aldi but I just put my makeup palettes in there. And then I just keep some of my like moisturizers and like oils and serums here. That cotton bud I promise isn't like been used for my ear. That's some castor oil there and castor oil is supposed to help grow your eyebrows. <laughs> so I've been dipping that cotton bud in castor oil and like putting it on my eyebrows. Should be doing it every night but I've not actually been doing it that much. <laughs> That's just like my portable speaker, my keys, onto my actual desk. This lamp, I've had this lamp for years, literally years. I'm pretty sure we got this when I first moved into like my new house. It's like my house house back in London. So I literally had this lamp for like six years and it moves with me everywhere. From Ikea, um, I've just got some books and no books, pencil case, that kind of thing. My desk stuff. These pot holders, like pencil kind of holders, are from Ikea and I just keep pencils, pens, you know, that kind of thing. I just feel like it's my desk. I don't want to go into like every single thing. You might be curious as to where this is from actually. Um, All these two things are both from Wilco and um, so again more rose gold kind of copper I just put like kind of like my everyday makeup products um in this and then this is obviously my makeup brushes and also nail file I'll go into my actual desk shall I so in this top drawer I keep my makeup in the back I keep like nail polishes um and that kind of thing this is a bit of a messy drawer um this is just both of these two bottom drawers are just random crap drawers these are the Polaroids that I said are my favorites that I want to hang up on my fairy lights this bottom one oh my god is even worse <laughs> it's basically mostly lots of wires and cables makeup bags for when i'm like going back to london and i've also got some dog poop bags and treats for when i'm like dog sitting so at my desk um also is this chair similar to last year obviously with student rentals it's an old ugly chair so i just put this other like blanket throw i have which is actually so soft so sitting on this is really nice that i got from primark i just kind of throw it over so it looks nicer and it's just more comfy under my desk i have a printer and paper on top it's not the most ideal setup as you can see the printer box is here because I'm like such an organization like person this kind of situation annoys me but there's literally no other place I could put my printer so I have to keep it under my desk which isn't too annoying it just means my desk can't fully like obviously when I'm not sitting at it can't fully go in but it's not that big a deal when it comes out a little bit the box again um, I don't really know where I could actually put it under my bed but I already have so much under my bed I've got my clothes dryer my suitcase which I usually take back to London and then these two like massive suitcases which we use to like pack all my stuff and like move it when I was moving houses. Under the bed is already pretty jammed so I just kind of keep it there it's just out of the way I guess. And then finally my wardrobe which because I have the chest of drawers which has most of my clothes in my wardrobe I basically just keep like jackets have kind of arranged them in like height. I am annoying so it's like longer coat and then into like jackets denim jackets and then kind of comes like jumpers hoodies and then there are a few like shirts and like play suits and dresses that kind of thing. And and then in the bottoms I keep shoes and yeah we're back round to the front that is everything so I hope you enjoyed um this uni room tour like I said if you enjoyed it please do give this video a thumbs up because that really really helps me out subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already um so you can see more videos from me and click the bell to turn on your post notifications to stay notified whenever I post the video I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye